it's Mikhail, and today we're going to be. My highlighter decided to fall out of the pile. Yeah, don't mind. Okay, so today we're going to be doing a spring kind of makeup look. So, like, spring break's over. Today's the last day when I'm filming this, but I just posted my spring haul today. So, like, yeah. Also, my hair is straight. How happy are you? I love it. Oh, okay. So, I recently went to Ulta and they had. Um, a sale so I want to show you some things I got and also try to incorporate some of them because I mean I'm not gonna incorporate this You're not gonna see it. And I just want to like show you guys how to do like a simple spring makeup look. That's really fun. So yeah, let's Get ready. I'm gonna put my hair back So yeah spring breaks over and Your skin that's what you want to be working on so I was I went to a quinceanera last night and I put on foundation because you know we got a lot of acne and I'm scared I'm going to break out but you know what we're going to put on more foundation for this video but first you got to prep the skin so there are different things you can do what I recommend is a mask I'm taking pink's coconut oil nourishing a facial mask and this is really fun because it's like I got some my nails. it's like actually it looks like yogurt and there's like actual like coconut flakes in it so it's fun so this is actually a really nice mask hydrating too i should really get on eye mask but yeah if you i just recommend getting more like a nourishing mask after spring break just because like it's getting lighter even though it's cold here as you can tell i'm wearing a sweatshirt um but yeah but like if you went somewhere unlike me you can also get like a mask for like sunburn they have like aloe masks so this is just like such a fun mask to do and it's just a wash off mask that you can also do a sheet mask i just want to do something quicker i guess and i just have a, another one of these and i want to use it up and yeah so i'm going to finish putting this on be back in about 20 minutes. Bye. Okay. So, I just took off the face mask. And of you always want to put on moisturizer after you do a mask. I've really been liking the Garnier Skin Active Glow Boost Illuminating Moisturizer. And it smells like apricot. And it's like a kind of like weird color. But it's really moisturizing and gives a glow. Which is perfect. Oh, and it smells so good. I love like apricots and peaches. So if you want a kind of subtle glow to the face, and it's not like so glowy, which like some primers or moisturizers are like glowing to the heavens, but like this one's really nice. And I'm really tired, so we're gonna excuse my face. And I just want to show you some things I got from Ulta. I'm gonna use this one. So this is the Ulta face primer the color correcting one I, and it's like their the flawless primer which i have and i've been wanting to get a new one but they're like 18 dollars but for 21 days of beauty this was seven dollars or maybe it was 11 i think it was seven and i'm just gonna kind of apply this over redness because it is a color correcting primer so I'm just applying that to like where I have like acne and stuff. And we're gonna kinda let that sit in our skin while we do some eyeshadow. So I'm like so far away, I have like nowhere to put my phone like to film. Okay, so I'm just gonna kinda like take the extra primer that's in my hands. And this like look you can spice up or not. So I'm taking the Mark Eye Cook Hookup Contact in Skinny Dip and Someone just got home. I was so confused. I was like home alone. I was like, where's my family? Taking Luxie 2.9, the first shade. And if my brushes are like pink, that's because I used like pink eyeshadow the other day. So, so we're just gonna have a nice pinky tinged. And now I'm going to try to. forward 
good. Okay, that's better. Sorry about that. So I might look a little different that's because I did some eyeshadow because I didn't realize it wasn't filming. And so basically I just took the second lightest shade, this middle shade right here and put that in the crease and then I took the darker shade and put it like in the outer crease, you know, simple. And then I took this middle shade right here and put it in the outer corner. And then now taking a Paris Hilton brush and this Paris Hilton palette, but you can use any like shimmery shade and I'm gonna take the first shade from it and I'm gonna put this in like the inner half of my lid. Oh my God, why am I doing that? Mm -hmm. The song, Dangerously, Julie Poo, I stuck in my hand. She could just see through it. I didn't grab mascara. Okay, I don't need it now, but like, Okay, so now we're gonna move on to foundation patient. Got my booty blender. I'm going to be using the Shackley Youth BB Cream. Shade two, I don't know if this is my shade. I think so. And I'm just going to put this in my skin. This is a BB cream, so it's just gonna have really light coverage. And this one is supposed to even correct hydrate nourish and protect your skin because it's chemical free and it has spf 30. i'll take this mirror right here and I, this is just gonna kind of give your skin evenness which i like and you can use any bb cream you like i don't really wear foundation or like bb cream ever so this was like the only one i have and of course spring is means warmer weather for most places. It's actually getting warmer here, but like not very warm. <laughs> but and look at that glow it gives. So gorgeous. Now I'm very oily. So my skin's like oily too. And I'm just gonna go in with one layer today just to go really nice and neutral. I also from Ulta got a new concealer to test out the ColourPop No Filter Concealer. I got the shade Fair 6 because they were out of anything from 6 to 10. And 10 was very yellow. And they were out of my shade in the Ulta concealer and now this is cheaper. And I like to have two concealers like I have the makeup foundation one. And I know it's supposed to be a nice good concealer, so let's hope. Ooh, I like it. It's not too dark. Or not too light. It's like really nice. I'm very pale, so it's good for me. There's like a white one too. I just, <laughs> just got that. And I'm going up to the corner. So yeah, I really, I like how it looks so far. I'm not really that picky about like makeup and stuff now. So. And like this foundation, it's evening out. So like the tech, the acne spots are like shrunken. But like if you wanna really cover those up, then you can take like extra concealer to it. So we're just gonna first, because we don't want our under eyes to crease, I'm just gonna take a little Maybelline Fit Me because you don't really wanna bake on a light makeup day. I'm just gonna take a little bit because we have some cream product that I used in like my last video, but I don't mean to flip anyone off. The Kaja blush stamp is literally my favorite thing. I wore it even when I just went to the mall. So I'm taking the shade Bossy, gorgeous right here. Oh, so satisfying. And you really have to blend this out fast with a blender, preferably. I haven't tried it with a brush, just cause like, I don't know. 
so natural. This is perfect if you just want kind of like a natural blush. And you just want it to kind of like blend effortlessly into your skin. And spring is like we're that time we just like love blush. Like I feel like that. And you can go a little heavy too. I just like to go more natural. Now before we set our whole face, I'm going to set my blush using Benefit California, which is a little different from the casual one. Oh, I put on that over there. Um, but it's still kind of similar peachy tones, I guess. I'm going to actually take a powder brush and just kind of blend her out. And now we're going to set the whole face again using Maybelline Fit Me Man Plus. And yes, you don't have to use a matte one. I just, again, have really, really greasy skin. And I just like my skin to be like... So like using just a kind of a lightweight powder will allow the shine to come through, but not like as heavily. And I'm going to kind of take a little bit of the puff thing that it comes with just to focus on the forehead. And now bronzer. We're gonna use good old Hula. Take the gold. And I actually like just I did this yesterday with like my foundation. And I loved how it looked. The bronze in this. I think so like they have like different hula sheets that have hula light and then they have like toasted and then they have caramel and I think hula original is my perfect shade even though I could probably use hula light but like I don't know if mine's just old but mine's like kind of light so now what I also got from Ulta was something I'm so happy about because their minis were buy two get one free and my mom wanted some mascara minis so it was like I'm gonna snatch some champagne pop from Bath for Bath. My nose is itchy. And just like, it's so pretty. I really want to get the ColourPop Villains collection, but they only have like the sets. And I don't really like like some of the sets together. But we're gonna, cause I, which one do I, I want the Maleficent highlighter. And then I might want the Hades lipstick. I was going to get an all my lipstick, but I was like, you know what? Probably not gonna wear this because I don't wear it. And it was like, I think it was called like Go Wild or something. It was a really pretty nude shade because they had like samples. Oh, but look at this. The highlighter is stunning. I'm gonna boop a little in the inner corner and a little on the nose, but like the Love her, she's beautiful. We are in your shoes. We're gonna do a little fun because I got some. Okay, so basically, Maybelline and L'Oreal stuff that was on sale was for two ninety nine was on sale for a dollar. So I got their Vivid Hot Liqueur in shade eighty, just because it's like a really fun turquoisey color. It smells kind of weird, but like this formula is not my favorite. But I like to do, sometimes I do like the farty stuff and I really But it's, like, it's not my favorite formula, but it's still like a fine one. And then I also got a L'Oreal Infallible Paint White Eyeliner and White Party. Again for like, her. this looks really nice. I'm really excited for her. Did I put the lip gloss? I'm like struggling. Oh, okay, she's right there. Okay. And then I got the Maybelline Color Tattoo Eye Chrome in the shade Electric Emerald. We're going to try to incorporate this today just for fun. So I'm going to take a lip brush. But you can also use like a smudge brush. Very, very. Of 
course, you could probably do that better than me. I grabbed a lot on her today. Definitely want to go like really light and just kind of like apply it to like the lash line. Probably not what I'm doing, but I really love this color. She's so pretty. I'm gonna take a little bit of this LA Colors Turquoise Shadow and kind of just like on the inner half of the. Just to kind of lighten her up. Of course, you don't want to go so crazy. I'm just experimenting here. I never like apply stuff to my lower lash line, but for our brows, I'm just gonna take the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. This is a little sample I got in like a sample kit. Just because, like, you want. I said recommend setting your brows, and it can be tinted or clear when you set your brows. For spring. And lastly, I'm just gonna apply the Wet n Wild Lip Gloss in Featherless. Just a hinky nude. Because you want like hydrated, juicy lips. And yeah. I know I said I was gonna put on mascara, but like. Because, yeah, yeah, this is it. And of course, Without like the green, it's just gonna be much more natural. And you don't even have to do like a lip color, you can go in with like a natural highlighter. But yeah, I hope these tips help, and I hope you guys subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.